Hey y'all, it's Sarah. Um, I've got kind of a geek moment for you guys. A lot of you ask questions about um, different products. They look very similar in the bottle and curious if they're interchangeable. So I am kind of altering some pumpkins today and you can see they've got kind of a whitewash going on. I wanted to show you guys this while I was doing that. It got me to thinking that this would be a good time to go ahead and um, show these compared to one another. So um, I want to go ahead and jump into that. I'm going to start with one of the first ones. Um, this is the Waverly Varnish. You guys have probably seen this one. Um, this that I have is the matte finish. I've been asked about this product. Um, I'm going to open it and kind of show you what that looks like. This has a very distinct smell. It is much stronger than any of the other Waverly products. Um, I'm assuming because it is a sealer, it has a real stout smell. Um, this is the Waverly Wax in clear. You can see it's... Um, it almost looks white or kind of like a slightly watery Elmer's glue. Um, this is Waverly chalk paint. You can see it is a very bright white with lots of pigment. And I am not sure if this is how this is always supposed to come out. But the couple of times that I have gotten my hands on the Waverly Wax in white. It has almost this gritty texture, so I am not sure if that is the norm, but we're going to roll with the kind that I have. Um, and you can see, even though this says white on the bottle, even in comparison to all these, this is almost a buttery yellow color. So I'm going to bring out some pieces that I've already marked, so that maybe it'll kind of give you a visual comparison here. I'm going to scoot all these together and I just kind of want to show you the consistency of each thing, kind of what it looks like. Uh, this has got a, a slight cream color. It does have a pretty chemical like smell. Um, this is the varnish. This is the clear wax. Um, you can kind of see it's similar to Mod Podge, but they do not work the same. I have compared them. So that's the clear wax. Um, this is the one you see used a lot to get some of the paint finishes. This is the just white chalk paint. And you can see how thick of a consistency this is. Um, it's almost gel. And I have mixed these, shaken these. I have this bottle and a smaller bottle. And mine look like this. So that, I don't think, it's not consistent with the other products. But this is what we have. This is what we're going to work with. Now I'm just going to show you against, this is Ready Board Foam Core in black and white. These are some scrap pieces. Um, that were a little beat up, you can see that I'm going to use um, so that you kind of get a feel for what each of these do. I'm just going to come in with a little makeup sponge and show you on each one. So the matte varnish goes on completely clear. You can see it starts absorbing really, really quickly on this. This cannot be used in place of the clear wax. It's already getting sticky. It doesn't allow you to manipulate across your piece before this becomes tacky, starts to dry. Um, I've been asked, can this seal this off to put it outside? So the construction of this material is two very thin pieces of paper. And you can see even with the black that it is see-through. Um, it's two very thin pieces of paper glued down to some foam. There is not a whole lot 
that I could imagine is going to completely weatherproof these two thin pieces of paper and foam to make it hold up outside. You can certainly try it, um, but like I said, the construction is what it is of the foam core pieces. Um, so now I'm going to play with the clear wax and, oops, that got a little drippy. Um, it's really hard out of context to use it right now because it is just completely clear. But this is part of what we're using as a medium to move our other colors across our foam core. And I got myself sidetracked and I don't think I put the matte varnish over the black. So let me do that. And you can see it kind of goes on a little milky when you're painting it over something. This is something that could be used when you do the Dollar Tree wooden pieces and you want to hang those outside. Um, this would likely work for that. But not to turn the foam core into an outdoor product. So, without getting myself too lost, I'm going to try these again because they've already started to go clear on me. And you can see there's not much there. And this is, this is the one we're particular to, the clear wax. Um, the next thing is going to be white chalk paint. This is a pigmented paint. And when we're using chalk paint, it's because it's heavy pigmented and lower moisture, because you can see this is almost a gel over acrylics and others because the less moisture you have on this paper surface the better off you are and you can see this goes in as a paint product it's hard to tell against the white you can see it just covered my lettering and you can see it a little better on the black the next comparison is going to be this white wax now you can see this is clearly not white. It has got a ivory kind of really pale, almost yellow color. There is pigment in there to make it this tone, which means that pigment is altering anything that you mix with it. Um, we can get away with it with the clear and keep our colors true, but it's harder to do with this white because there is pigment in it and you can see that when you compare um, the pumpkin that has had one really light coat versus this one and anytime you go to mix a paint color with that it's going to slightly alter it because you can see it does have pigment to it when you apply it that's how you know there's pigment to it you can see a color laying down same thing there that's going to change anything that you're working with if you throw a brown in with that to use like a wax you're going to start getting um, more of a paint coverage and less of this clear stain look now this works really well as a milk wash Mind you, it does have this slightly yellowish, yellowish, easy for you to say, tint. But um, for my pumpkins, since they were orange anyway, um, that wasn't really problematic. But you can see as that goes on there, there is definitely pigment to that. Where our clear wax, you are not seeing anything. Um... So I wanted to kind of point all that out and I'll go in really quick with a little bit of the chalk. And this is giving really heavy coverage. So you can kind of see what I mean about this offers a milk wash with a slightly ivory hue. Um, in the foam core craft kind of arena, it honestly... I don't feel like it's got as many universal uses as your clear. It's not even um, really one of my favorite products. You can see I can I have quite a bit. Um, it just, 
for what we're doing in foam core, I don't find it as useful as I would clear or um, even the antique. So there is that. However, if you're already working with other things, this is a really good milk wash to me. Um, you could do it over your already painted foam core, although it does tend to kind of blur your colors out because there is that pigment in there. Um, and you can kind of see, I'll keep going down in this, I'm trying to blend out some of the, the chalk that was on there. Um, but you can see it's just a much lighter kind of clear pigment. Um, but there is a pigment to it. So it does make a difference when you're mixing these with another color. If you mix this with a brown to try to get a wood tone, it's going to alter it. It's going to change it. Um, if you mix it with your other colors to get some of the distressed colored wood colors, it's going to alter those too. So I wanted to show you kind of what all of these will do, um, what they don't do how they appear you can see now um like i said the varnish really doesn't have much of a an effect um it's certainly not going to make this great for outdoor use there real there really is no great use for the varnish in the foam core craft that i have found um you could add it to try to seal it off but it's not going to change the fact that it's paper and by adding more wet product you're just running into more possibility of your pieces peeling apart so i don't see a real great use for it. it's something i have on hand for other pieces for actual wood pieces to seal them off clear wax this is kind of what we're going for if you can't find it in waverly because i know that a lot of people are struggling um, the only one that i have personally found comparable has been the folk art other people are playing with other things but since i've had visual comparison I prefer Waverly first, folk art, and not much else that I have found after those two. Um, white chalk paint, that is for a full paint coverage. That gives you um, heavy pigment. We like it with the chalk paint because it is so thick and we're not adding that much moisture to get the level of color pigment that's there. And then you can kind of see that smoky haze that um, the white wax leaves behind. And it's going to change slightly on whatever color you're working that with. So uh, I hope that clears some things up. I know that was kind of long and drawn out. But I, I, I tend to like to know the technical of some of these things. And I wanted to save you guys from... Um, purchasing the wrong product for what you're trying to to do these each have their own use if you're relating it to like the foam core crafts some are more limited than others and i wanted to show you that so that you know where you're investing your money um, wisely before having this many products on hand and still not getting the look that you're shooting for so i hope that um, helps clear things up i'm gonna go back to um the less serious nerd side and get back to making my pumpkins a little more heirloom um, the thing i like about this is that it is hazy so i can build on it um, instead of having to worry about get too much so that's what i'm gonna do hope you guys get a chance to craft today and i will talk to you soon bye guys